I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my first video on loci and construction. Let me thank my subscribers for being very persistent and asking for this particular area. I will try to explain few terms which we are going to use in this particular video. We'll also take a few related problems and I hope with this we'll be able to discuss a bit about this topic. So let us first understand the key terms which are locus or loci. Now locus is singular, loci is plural and it means set of points which satisfy some condition, right? So, so we say set of points which satisfy one or more conditions. That is important, right? So in every question, we are going to have some conditions and anything which satisfies those conditions and can be represented geometrically as we are going to do is called locus, right? Plural is loci. Line segment. So when we say line segment, in that case we have a boundary. So segment has a boundary. So we say from point A to point B. So that is the line segment. Okay. When we say line, in that case we are trying to say that something, a straight line which extends on both these sides. So that I am going to represent with arrows. Circle as you understand, at times we will just draw a circle like this also. Equidistant means same distance from any two points, correct? So equidistance means same distance away. Now bisectors help us to get equidistant solutions, right? We could have angle bisectors, we could have perpendicular bisectors, right? So when we talk about angle bisectors, we have uh, maybe rays, two rays or segments at an angle and we'll try to see how we can bisect, that means find points which are same distance away from these two rays or segments or lines, correct? So that becomes the angle bisector. Perpendicular bisectors we will be using mainly when we're talking about a segment and uh, we'll bisect the segment with a line which will go through the center and it is also going to be perpendicular to the segment. Is that okay? So those will be the perpendicular bisectors. So I hope these terms are quite clear. But as we solve these questions, they'll be absolutely clear. So we have examples which are Example 1 will be, draw the locus of all the points equidistant from points A and B. Draw locus of all points exactly 3 cm from the line PQ. Then we have draw locus of all the points equidistant from the line AB and AC. Then we have a test question which is here. In the figure below, draw a straight line between AB and CD which is same distance from AB from A and B right so from which is same distance from A and B okay so let us see how to solve these questions so we are going to do some construction and then uh, we'll have kind of solution Question number one is, draw the locus of all the points equidistant from points A and B. So we are given two points A and B. Equidistance means same distance away from both these points. How do we do that? You, you need to take this compass and then open it more than half. Let's say AB is that big, right? So more than half is kind of like that. So if you open it more than half and then place it on one end and draw arc like this. 
correct you draw arc from point a and from point b also from both the points these arcs will intersect at two points as shown once you have the points of intersection then the line joining these two points will be representing a set of points which will be same distance away from the points A and B. So this particular line which we have drawn here is same distance away from the points A and B, right? So this type of construction can also help you to divide line AB, segment AB into two equal parts, right? So this type of construction could also be used to make right bisector of segment AB, right? So if, a, if the question is, draw the right bisector of AB, even then the construction is going to be exactly same. That will give you a set of points which is same distance away from points A and B, right? So I hope this construction is clear, right? So let's move on and take up the next one. The question now is, draw the locus of all points exactly three centimeter from the line PQ. Let me change this line to segment, right? So, so let me call this not a line, but a segment PQ. So I'm changing this to segment PQ. Now, as soon as I make it a segment, that means it cannot be extended. If I was take, treating this as a line, uh, let me just uh, sh tell you what I'm trying to show. If I say it is a line, that means PQ will be kind of like this. It does not have any end. So in that case, any point which is same distance away, locus of all points exactly, let us say three centimeter or whatever, will be kind of two parallel lines. Do you see that? Where this distance between the given line will be equal to the measurement given. Do you understand? So if I use the word line, then we have lines parallel to the given line. Now I've changed the statement. I've written this as draw the locus of all points exactly three centimeter from the segment PQ. So that means we have endpoints here. It cannot extend in both the directions. Does make sense, right? So what we have to do here is we can again open the compass three centimeters so three centimeters will be let us say from 10 to 7 right so that is three centimeters for me correct so from 10 to 7 is three centimeters now from here we have to mark arcs like this so you'll see kind of like this it has a bulge on the top correct so place it at p and then again draw the same work right now at p and q actually you can complete a circle if not a circle at least a semicircle right so i'm drawing a semicircle here since this is the end point all the points on this circle are three centimeters away right Let's go to Q also and complete our circle, right? So we'll complete this circle kind of like this as shown. So don't worry if you extend it further as we have done in this particular case. Now the idea is that with your compass, draw a tangent line. Do you see that? So, so we're drawing a tangent line and you will notice that this tangent line will actually terminate will, will touch at this point do you see that so what you get is a figure which is let me just touch this right so a tangent line the length of this tangent line 
will be same as that of PQ. And on these ends, we'll have semicircles. So the locus of points represented by the line segment here, let me call this as P dash Q dash and P double dash Q double dash. And the semicircle here with radius of three centimeters, right? So in this case, what we have is, is that this distance is three centimeters. And this distance is also three centimeters. Is it okay? So that becomes the set of points which are exactly three centimeters from the given line segment PQ. Correct? So let's see the next question now, which is draw a locus of all points equidistant from the lines AB and AC. Now, if I use the word lines AB and AC, line is also defined by two points. That means it extends. Do you see that? It extends on both the sides. So that becomes line AB and this becomes line AC. Do you see that? Now we have to draw locus of all points equidistance from lines AB and AC. I'm not changing this to segments this time. Be careful about this part, right? So I'm not changing it to segments. So now how do I draw points equidistance from two intersecting lines? Well, the way is like this. You keep the compass here mark on these lines with some open art right so i've taken quite big and then again from there we'll mark points almost in the center is going to cross somewhere right so correct so it crosses like this you could actually do the same thing on the other side also, but since that is the point of our interest, we could extend using the intersection of line AB and AC, right? So, so if I do that, point A is the intersection of both these lines. So what I get is this particular line. So this is one of the lines. This is one of the lines. We could actually draw another line also, as you can see, correct? Do you notice that? Here it is. So this time I will mark it on the other side, right? So, so placing it in the center, right? So I'm just opening it a bit more. And let's say this is one R cutting the line AB and then let's cross line AC. So from these points, we can again open. Now you can change the length of this at this moment. And then mark with those center points, correct? Join with A and get the second line. So if I don't change the word into segments, it means I have two solutions. These lines are representing set of points which are same distance away from the given lines, which are intersecting lines, okay? So let me call this as line one and line two. So we get two lines in this scenario. But now here is the last question. It is a test question. You can always pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, in the figure below, draw a straight line between AB and CD, which is same distance from point A and B, right? So let's try to do it. So let's, let me just make lines AB. So that is, I'm just showing with a dotted line. Since I have to draw a line between AB and CD, right? So we'll just draw a line between these two. But we, we have to ensure that 
the line segment should be exactly same distance from A as from B. So that is the question. So open the compass which is slightly more than half, right? That's the basic. And then you can form the arcs from both A and B. Once you make these arcs, you'll get two points where they intersect. Join these points with the line segment, right? So basically, we are looking for this particular line segment. But what we have to do is that we have to only draw the line segment from A, B to C, D. So it has to terminate there. Do you understand? So this line segment, which has been sketched, represents set of points which are same distance from A and B, right? Same distance from A and B. So that is how you do it. So I hope these set of questions are useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And I'll provide you links for other related questions to work on. Thanks for watching and all the best.